everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a sunrise inspired tutorial last summer I did a sunset inspired tutorial so I'm gonna link that down below for you I'm gonna link that down below for you you can go check it out and I wanted to do like a sunrise inspired uh, video just because I really love summer and I wanted to do a summer inspired tutorial I did like a true summer inspired tutorial I'm gonna link that down below for you as well um, but I'm gonna go through like a sunrise and spider tutorial. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and um, I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join. Uh, there's a giveaway at 500 subscribers as well. It is so freaking hot in our house. You guys, it is so hot in our house right now. We don't have AC, we only have like a one portable AC, and it's like unlivable. We are moving soon, thank God. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to move. Um, but as of right now, we're still in the hot spot apartment. So it's kind of motivating us to kind of get our stuff together to be able to move. I'm not really gonna give you much detail, but it's really motivating us being in an apartment that is hotter than it is outside. Not always hotter than it is outside, but it is like 90 degrees outside. The humidity is hot. So I'm gonna like just go through this video and we are staying somewhere else tonight because oh my God. And yes, our dog is coming with. We never leave him in our house without the air conditioning on. I'm kind of like got a lot of energy. <laughs> I'm not like a coffee drinker, but like I have a lot of energy, so. I'm first gonna start out with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. If you don't have this, I go through this in like every tutorial, but I never know who's watching. And so I always like to give suggestions. So if you don't have this, just use your concealer and it works the same. So when I think sunrise, I'm kind of feeling like lighter colors, maybe like a little bit of like a pinky red. A golden color because obviously the Sun is yellow so um, I did pull out my Natasha Denona sunrise palette I bought this last summer because I wanted to try Natasha Denona and I didn't want to spend $125 on a palette and this one was a lot smaller and cheaper um, I'm not the biggest fan of Natasha Denona eyeshadows I know right like that's crazy but I'm just not so I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna use it today but I'm, I wouldn't recommend you go out and get this necessarily so i'm gonna go in with the blood sugar palette also i thought this was really beautiful the reds in here oh. but i'm gonna go into glucose i'm just gonna set my primer just because i hate the tackiness on there oh that makes it look really bright too okay i like it i always recommend um setting it with a neutral eyeshadow or a white one if you want your colors to kind of pop or just a setting powder that works too oh my god i even look hot Please excuse me. Oh my gosh, please excuse me. Like, I'm working on getting things done. I'm trying to, like, finish up some laundry before we go. My dog literally has just been sitting in front of the AC, like, all day. It's kind of cute. But, oh my god, my cheeks are so red. I also, long story short, I went for a six-mile run because I'm training for a marathon yesterday. And I'm trying to, like, get back in the groove. I, first off, did not stop once to walk, which I am so proud of myself because usually my willpower is, like, this much and I'm like you've done a mile you can walk it's okay and I just kind of pushed through and I listened to some podcasts I'm just really proud of myself so I also got sunburned so this is a little bit of a sunburn I literally did not think about putting on sunscreen I don't know why usually I'm really really good about that but for here for this this time I was just like oh you know it's in the evening because I went at like six o'clock at night yesterday that I'm filming this Today is June 2nd when I'm filming this. When I went yesterday and I didn't really think about putting on sunscreen. I was like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. And now I'm kind of looking at the monitor and I'm like, shoot, I kind of did get a little sunburn. Really bad. I'm, I sunburn really easily. My nose usually gets really bad, but I can kind of tell here too. And I'm also warm, but um, my nose is definitely a tiny bit sunburned. So um, I'm going to go in with the shade citrine and this is from the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette and I'm going to pop this right into my crease. I don't know I'm kind of like I'm helping out the up helping out with some laundry and whatnot and just trying to like finish up some packing because we're we're going away for a night or two because oh my gosh this is crazy. Usually I film earlier in the day and I just like did not get around to it. Why? I don't know. Usually I like to film by like 2 or 3 p.m. Because like I get stuff done in the morning. 
and then you know I edit and I upload the video for the day and it's supposed to rain too and then like the humanity is supposed to go up when it's raining like I love summer okay I love summer but I want a house with central air and our apartment does not have central air because I, I have said before like I want to live in Florida and whatnot and I like I would love to live it's summer year round I love it but there's also a part of me where I don't love it in this current apartment <laughs> but I'm gonna go with the sugar rush tart best bud lip butter balm I got this in my May boxy charm I'm gonna link that down below as well I really like this yellow tone I really think it really encapsulates the whole sunrise kind of theme I don't want to go straight up red though because when I think red and yellow I just think ketchup and mustard and I hate mustard um if you hate mustard too let me know okay <laughs> oh my goodness wow I'm gonna go with the Morphe M433 and I'm sorry if you heard my laundry in the background I've said this in past videos but my washer and dryer are stacked on top of each other and they are on the other side of this wall so if you hear anything I'm really sorry I do use a microphone I'm sorry if that picks anything up usually it doesn't but you never know so I'm gonna continue going in with this palette and I'm gonna use the shade glory which is a beautiful like ruby pinky ma not magenta it's really pretty and I'm just gonna kind of stamp this right in here and blend it because nothing is more beautiful than like a reddish pink sunrise in my opinion oh my gosh you guys when I'm filming this June 2nd my brother my baby brother who is four years younger than me who i love very much is graduating from high school tomorrow they're doing like a modified graduation type thing because of the pandemic but overall like i just i can't believe it like it just feels weird like five years ago i graduated from high school it's just so weird to think like my little brother is graduating if you're like a like a big sister or big brother you totally get it i I'm so proud of him. There you go. There's that. Um, I'm gonna take like a deeper, mm, I don't wanna go too deep though. I really don't. Cause I, cause when I think sunrise, I think light colors. I think, you know, very pretty. And I don't wanna go too dark because that we can do that in like a sunset, but we can't really do that in a sunrise. Maybe I'll go into this one. This is from the Huda Beauty Neon Orange Palette. Um, I did a whole video like last month talking about how to incorporate neon in every day. I'm gonna link that down below for you as well. So yeah, we're gonna put this on the lower lash line. I feel bad for my future editing self, like <laughs> um, listing all these videos because the way I do it is I have a notebook where I have written out all the makeup that I used so I can just go into the video and not have to worry about that. But I will always make a note. As soon as I say something, I will pause you know the clip that I'm editing and I will like write that down so I can make sure to add that in the description box because nothing can be more frustrating when somebody says I'm gonna link that down below and they never do and so I work very hard not to be that person nobody may even click on the links I don't know there we go I like how light it is I think the less color like the less complication in this the better because I feel like a sunrise is just so incredibly simplistic and beautiful um i never get up early to, enough to see it i remember the first two summers ago it was mine and logan's first summer dating and we made a bucket list and it was so cute like we made little things like go for ice cream go on a bike ride and um but we did more extravagant things too um you know like do this together do this together one of ours was wake up early and see the sunrise and we never did because every time we would try to do it we would be too lazy to get out of bed i'm, I'm a morning person don't get me wrong but i find it hard to wake up like four or five in the morning like i definitely function better in the morning for sure but i don't like getting up early so i'm gonna go on glucose again and i'm just gonna highlight the brow bone but i also i have a very hard time staying up late like i remember i had a roommate in college and she would go in like the common room in our dorm, um, like on our floor and stuff. And she would go study all night. And she said, oh yeah, I study really well in that time, but she'd sleep in till like 11 or noon. And she'd have all her classes in the afternoon. And I was the exact opposite. I wanted all my classes in the morning. So my afternoons were completely free. And by evening time, I was like chilling. Not really doing anything because I wasn't very cool. <laughs> I was also an RA, so I really, 
really wasn't cool to a lot of people so a lot of really crazy RA stories like a lot of crazy RA stories like thinking about it oh my gosh <laughs> um, I'd love to maybe go in with one of these shimmery shades for like a lid but there's also this really pretty shade in the blood I almost said bloodlust I don't have the bloodlust palette I would love to get the bloodlust palette but I'm more worried about moving right now than getting an eyeshadow palette they're in here sweetener like the name of Ariana Grande's album. Okay, this is like almost like a rose gold peach coppery shade. Like that. I don't know if that would be like the right vibe. This one is Agate from Natasha Denona. That might be more my speed. Just for this look, maybe. Maybe I'll put a little bit on top of. Ooh. I put a little bit of Agate on top of this sweetener shade. I'm gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna use the sweetener shade, which is the Jeffree Star color. And I'm just gonna take my finger and apply this. If you wanna hear like a whole video of like me doing like a get ready of me and like crazy RA stories, like obviously I'm not gonna like embarrass anybody, but I'll be pretty vague about it for sure. Um, there were definitely my, there was definitely like my fair share of like, um, dealing with noise complaints like after quiet hours, blah, 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 the boring stuff. But there were definitely like, I remember my first semester of an RA because I got, I was in like one of the student apartments. So I really wasn't in like a traditional dorm. Okay. I'm going to go in with Agate and I'm just going to pop that right on top. But I really wasn't like in a per, like in a traditional like dorm okay i wasn't doing communal showers anything like that i had um upperclassmen too i didn't have any freshmen which i think made my situation a little more unique um my apartment was like a four bedroom apartment so you had four roommates um everybody kind of did their own thing you know they didn't really have like you couldn't really have a meal plan either because it had a full kitchen you could have one but I remember asking like a lot of my residents because I had um, like a dining dollars meal plan kind of thing where I could just spend like the like literal like cash or money on my I, student ID and I could just buy like whatever I wanted but I didn't have like a cat like one to the cafeteria or anything like that. I remember I came at, at second semester and I think that is really hard for any RA um, because you know all these students are like doing okay they're they got their routine and then there's the new RA and I didn't really want to be the RA that was super overbearing either that was like not my vibe but okay here it is up close right I'm gonna put on a little bit of liner and lashes and we're gonna keep talking because is... I'm gonna go with the Makeup Revolution um, Renaissance Flick Liquid Liner and then the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast and Mascara. But that was really, I think that was really hard for me. That was like my hardest semester just because it was so difficult to kind of get a feel for things in the middle of a semester. Just, like I remember I transferred colleges in the middle of a, in like the middle of a year and I came in second semester, that was hard, you know? So I, of course, I became an RA in the second semester too. <laughs> I remember I always wanted to be an RA because I wanted to be someone people could talk to and could, could feel comfortable with. And that was just my big goal, you know? I didn't really do it for the, you know, I, I knew a lot of other RAs who just kind of did it for, you know, the free housing, the free meal plan, and that was, you know not how I rolled that it just wasn't like I just could not I just I didn't you know towards the end of my time as an RA I didn't necessarily enjoy it okay and I didn't stay an RA I was an RA for three semesters it is very hard to be an RA um you know you'd come home and you never really got me time it was always you know as soon as you get in you were always on kind of high alert for somebody to stop by you needed to be in your room often because if anybody needed help whether it was they were just locked out of their room or it was something very very serious you kind of had to be there for it for them no matter what there were only a very like not even a amount i could talk count on my finger or very very serious like detrimental issues okay they were probably only two or three in my whole entire time which is still a lot. Still had a hard time as an RA. You know, I didn't have me time. And me time for me, it always has been. This always has been, but it always has been very, very, very important to me. Um, 
I want time to just recharge. I am naturally more introverted. I'm naturally more introverted, so I love talking to people, getting to know people. Um, I do need time to just be by myself and to just personally recharge. You know, I made, my roommates knew that, you know, they knew that I was, I, I needed me time. And they respected that too, you know. Um, there were times where, you know, I was going through my own personal stuff and they would be really respectful of my privacy and for when other people would come in to, you know, ask for my help. So I really did appreciate that. But yeah, okay, liner lashes done. Hi, Rascal. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. I'm just applying this to my lips. Really nice nude. I think it really correlates nicely with everything else. And then I'm gonna go in with a Fenty Gloss Bomb. I'm gonna go in with Cheeky. But if you want a whole RA story, time, whatever, I'd love to share it with you. And you know, I had a lot of really great times as an RA. And I also had a really, really, uh, you know, a lot of not really good times as an RA. So, but that is everything. Here we go, excuse the crazy hair. I'm gonna go finish packing and um, head out. So thank you for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.